Hello, this is Ira Whiteside. I'm from Actuality Business Intelligence, and uh, along with my business partner, Jordan March, we're going to take you through a uh, quick walkthrough of the AMO, the Analysis Services Management Object. The objective here is to uh, show you how you can achieve analytics through analysis services uh, via tools like Excel. In this case, we're going to start with an Excel pivot table on the cube that we're going to generate. Certainly you could be using in 2012 some additional visualization tools like Power Pivot uh, or Power Viewer. So let's get started here. We're going to do all this in about three or four minutes, kind of a speed walkthrough of analytics and uh, metadata and code generation. So we're looking at a little pivot table here and a little pivot chart. It's working off of a cube. You can see here that we've got uh, a whole bunch of information about the AdventureWorks internet sales capability. And as we look at that here, I'm going to close a few of these up. You can see that we have got, uh, we're looking at uh, sales amounts by country, Australia, Canada, France, Germany. We can drill into those, uh, looking at uh, different regions within the country, central, northeast. And then we can certainly drill into uh, each of those regions. Uh, nothing spectacular, pretty normal. You can see uh, many of our dimensions, our facts are all here and available. The impact is I'd like to show you that it, uh, rather than taking several hours to construct and build this cube, it really took a, a, a few minutes to use a template and build the cube with code. And uh, let's just take a look at those steps. We'll take a look at the code in a second to precursor that. Uh, it's about 450 lines of code and in this case if we want to kind of walk through the process first the last thing we'll do is finish it up by looking at and running the code. Uh, the steps that are involved are and these are the normal development steps just as if you were going to go through the analysis services wizard and GUI and Visual Studio and bids to build a cube they are seven connect to analysis services create a database create a data source connecting to your uh, source, create a data source view, giving the logic and relationships you need, and then creating the dimensions, attributes, hierarchies, and member properties of objects. Finally, creating the cube with the measure groups, measure and partition objects, and then lastly, processing that cube. If we drop down another level, two more slides here, just to walk through the specifics. Connecting the analysis to services is simply connecting to a particular server. Creating the database is establishing, and once that is connection to the server is established, is actually creating the database that will be loading, that will contain the queue. Creating a data source, which will give us the logic and relationships or uh, code that we need to get the data. And then creating that data source view, again, which will give us the specifics and how to obtain that data. Uh, let me correct myself. The data source is actually the connection to the data source. The data source view gives us the relationships and the model we're looking at. Create a dimension. We'll now begin actually creating the cube, uh, creating the dimensions itself with the attributes, hierarchies, member objects, adding in dimensions and the attributes as they are, uh, setting their attribute usage and source, and then lastly creating the cube within that the measure group, measures, and partitions. As you can see several steps here at the detailed level where you're setting up the particular measures that you're looking for, establishing relationships, and then uh, linking, uh, in, in essence, the dimensions to the measures, if you will. So that would complete our kind of walkthrough. Let's take a look at the actual code that uh, is used for this generation. And uh, let's take a look at that. Here we have the steps that we're going to need. We're looking at and we've used Visual Studio Express here and in Visual Studio Express uh, we're going to walk through the six or seven steps. As you can see here we're not going to go through the entire program but just give you a quick treatment of uh, the steps. Connecting two analysis services as you can see here uh, sample logic for simply being able to set up that connection string and connect to the server. Connecting to the database itself in this case, we're going to be not connecting but creating a database uh, that we're going to establish. Our, in this case, our database is going to be OLAP 15. Uh, 
once we've created that database, we're then going to actually set up and connect a data source, the primary foundation of the data source views in 2008R2 being our connection string. In this case, we're going to connect to a SQL Server source and a table. It could be any source that is supported. Then setting up the data source view uh, within this, we'll use uh, capabilities to actually be able to load and instantiate uh, and fill the tables that are necessary for each of these views, the fact and dimension tables that we've specified. And then lastly, as we work through here, one more second, we're going to come down here and begin to actually create create the dimensions, attributes, and hi hierarchies. As you look at the logic here, again, we'll be working through the collections of facts and uh, dimensions that we've set up, instantiating the dimensions as they uh, would exist. Again, straightforward in terms of working uh, from a little array we've said earlier with uh, measures with uh, dimension members, sorry. And then last, we'll actually be creating the uh, the cube itself. Again, looking at all of our connection information. And sorry, sorry, sorry for the crazy mouse here. Working through the logic to be able to instantiate the cube, it will be called sample cube, as you can see here. Add the measures to the cube. Uh, and again, add in this particular case also order quantity. Finishing it up and then setting up uh, standard partitions for that cube. When all of that is done, we'll be able to run this process. We're running here on a, actually a little notebook, a Zen book with only four gig of memory. Uh, so it'll take, uh, it'll take a few minutes. Not that this is a giant cube. You can see here now that we're getting messages that we're connecting to analysis services, connecting to the database, the data source, the data source view, processing and not processing, but setting up and instantiating the dimensions and attributes and finally creating the queue. Done with all of that, uh, we'll take a quick look in uh, Management Studio. As you can see here, we've got several cubes that we've created. The cube that we created initially here is uh, OLAP 15. If we were to want to browse that cube, well actually let's open it up here. You can see here that we've instantiated our data source, a mobile app data source. Our data source view exists here, as you would expect. The cubes, in this case, sample cube with several measure groups. Fact internet sales being what we've set. Oops, sorry here. Lost my place. Fact internet set having uh, several groups and then the dimension themselves currency employee product and the like so as you can see uh, not a giant cube but a reasonably sized uh, production level cube in place the last thing we'll look at is if we were to open up Visual Studio you can see here that we've also connected to our cube in this case we're connected to uh, cube OLAP 15 again the same data sources are available we also have the dimensions, cubes themselves available, metrics available if we would want to come out here and do any work with the dimension. Uh, obviously, it is fully supported. We can open up that dimension. As you can see here, have it available, add, change any attributes, create hierarchies. All of the capabilities that we need uh, are supported. So. Again, it's Ira Whiteside. I am available at uh, iWhiteside at actualitybusinessintelligence.com. Uh, you'll be able to see this video up on uh, YouTube and also on my blog, irawarrenwhiteside.com, until we get a little bit more work done on our Actuality Business Intelligence website. If you have any questions, uh, please send us an email.